love that. <laughs> it's funny because I'm I'm attracted to these kind of purses because I guess I love the 70s. I don't know. It's fun. It's different. Different from all the rest. Bring in, you know, what goes around comes back around. Action. today of what we picked up in Round Top when we went. It was David, me, and my daughter, Skybo, went with us, Skylin, Skybo, and didn't pick up a whole lot, and what Skylin did get, she already took home with her. I keep forgetting to make her stay, or at least let me keep her stuff. She didn't, she didn't get a whole lot either, though, but she's decorating her apartment, and she's kind of a boho design, but, um, and as, as much as she don't realize it, she's like in vintage. <laughs> so, anyways, let me show you the few items I got. It's probably going to be a short little video here because I didn't get a whole, whole lot either. Ooh, and I did not open my jewelry yet. So, let's start with this really fun thing. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so, I guess it's, it's a bathroom. I, did mushrooms go in the bathroom? I don't know, but I thought this would look nice under the sink, you know, right there at the sink. And I may be keeping this for my sink, but um, I just love the mushrooms. A little half moon rug. I thought that was fun. And then I got this really cool, cool lion at a vendor that is also on Instagram. Um, she was there at Brown Top. We also ran into her at the Junk Hippie. Junk Hippie, I do believe, in Rosenberg, and she was also at Round Top this year. This, um, this is her first season there. What a boho, and she does have some amazing things, and she's such a sweet girl, but I just love this, love this cruel lion piece. It's so fun. Now, right here, his leaves are, like, got cut or something? I don't know. But they're a little undone there. But the rest of him looks good. I think there might have been one more leaf. Yeah, this one. So that probably could be stitched back, you know, down or something. But I just love his mane and he has googly eyes. He's so cute. I'm really thinking about redoing some of my walls in my toy room and collecting some of the, oh, should I say collecting, oh my god. I don't need to collect nothing else, I know this. Anyways, so this beauty, real fun. And then one more picture piece that I got was um, pebble art. It is fruit in a basket. Look at that pebble art. And a wood frame. The frame, I don't know if this can be cleaned up. That part looks a little dirty. A little, you can see the age on it anyways. But it has a wood backing ready to hang. And you can see how big it is. So I know sometimes pebble art comes with um, like two pieces, like a matching side-by-side -side piece, but I don't know. i never seen this one, but I thought it was fun. I mean, when I see pebble art, I always try to pick it up, because I do love it. Mid-century type artwork. And here we have, oh, Westmoreland, I think this is. Westmoreland Girl Trinket Dish. Very nice, blue. David found this. He picked this up. David's always picking up the glass. And he also picked up this piece. It's a paperweight um, of a crane. And 
and it's a pale bluish green paperweight, glass paperweight of a crane. You can see how big that is. I don't know what anything about this. He didn't say. I didn't even know he picked it up. <laughs> so, nice heavy paperweight. And then we hear anybody like deer anymore? Still liking the deers? I got this little cutie. So, little, you can tell how old he is. He's been around. He's in good shape. Little, little figurine. And then this amber decanter. It's a short one, but it's nice. It goes with those real tall. I don't know if this is a... I should be looking at making models before I ever do my haul. But, you know, you know, we just buy what we like. And this is nice. The, it has the plastic cork. little cute decanter and then we got this um I don't know if this is a like a craft piece a black with red splotches all over it of a ceramic piece vase look at that handle that's really nice it's really tall but I thought this would be fun like a duck mouth oh and I did see I didn't see this earlier, but it has a little chip right there, a little white paint moss. So that can be fixed, not being noticeable. And then we have a, this cute little kitty cat with a fish in his belly. Is that showing up very well? There we go. He's about this big. He got a little fishy in his belly. He ate the fish. And then I have a sugar and creamer mushroom set. This might be a project piece too. I'm not sure. Um, but what you see on one side is on the other side. I mean the there's one on, there's one mushroom on one side and then two on the other and it's the same for both. Little cute mushroom set of a sugar and creamer. And then here we have a record tote. Now this isn't the ponytail brand. This is Deb in, Deb in Teen. Is that what that says? I can barely read it. Is that Deb in Teen? In Teen? The little uh, record player tote. Now, here it has a handle, and this side does not, but I can feel the handle on the inside. I don't know, falling through the plastic or what, but. The handle fell in the inside. And it does have records already in it. Which is fun. So, I love these little totes like this. These, they have scrapbooks and um, purses even. Because I have a purse. Um, scrapbook albums. They have a lot of different things in this, uh, I think it's 60s. Uh, little vinyl books and totes and and purses and stuff these are fun okay and next I got some I picked up some jewelry you might have, if you remember recall in my video um, there was a table full of jewelry I mean I, I could have sat there all day going through that jewelry and it would probably take all day to go through that table of jewelry so I just picked out some quick fun ones because you know David and Scullin didn't want to wait on me forever so I got this one because I love the orange and the brown and see the clasp and it's, it's, it's like a little lightweight plastic type feel I guess it's very cute 
because I like the brown and the orange. I really like the orange. And then I got this little, it looks like, kind of like mother of pearl or iridescent, should I say, iridescent uh, white pearls and little black iridescent beads. I thought this was fun. Little, it's a short necklace. And then we got this wood bracelet. That was fun. And I was trying, I was having my daughter help me pick out some boho style um, jewelry too. Oh, this, this side. It's a wood uh, charm on it with a butterfly and then all these different types of beads. And it has just a fish hook clamp. And that one comes down pretty long. I got a busy shirt on, you can't see. So that was fun. And then here we have a amber one. It's a three, yeah, three string, three, um, three string, right? Three string is what you call it. And it has the beads and chain and with this chain has the like leather string going through it. Look at that. And then this one. And this one's a kind of a long one. So I thought that was fun. And then this one had, one baggie had all these necklaces in it. So a bunch of little silver uh, necklaces that are pretty long. That one. And then you have this one which is even longer and then this one I'm wondering if it's supposed to be like a belt you know some kind of like loose belt that you would put around a sweater or something because it just had this one this little dangly piece on it and here's the clamp and it's just a chain. Just a chain with these little little casting uh, chandelier type danglies on it. So I didn't know if this is like a waist sweater because I remember back in the day we wore sweaters and, and you just had this kind of looped around your waist. Um, and then this one, so all four of these were in the same little um, a uh, little baggie, which so I got all four for one monies. But they were really cute. And this one is also a long one. And then the, I got this little one just to go with my owls, all my owl necklaces that I have. I have a little collection of owl necklaces. So not exactly the type of owl necklaces I've been collecting, but it was nevertheless an owl necklace, so I grabbed it. Now that was all that I'd gotten. Nope, nope, nope. And then we have, got this from the same table. I just thought they were cute. I like picking up Halloween stuff and Christmas stuff when I see something, it, you know, even off season. Gotta get ready for that season. But aren't these noticeable? These are gonna be really cute. So I picked these up in that little bundle there. So that was all that I got from Round Top. Not very much, but we're going again. So stay tuned for that video. Um, I'm going with my YouTube friends for the Round Top meetup. And, but, so since this was so small, I'm going to do a, show you some stuff that we got at the Goodwill. Because um, it's just five items or something so um but this so i'm adding this onto it so this is um some little ceramic pieces of i uh, wonder the are these clown bookends now my daughter picked these up for me so where she moved there's a good little literally right up the road from her so now i've been having her check stuff for me regularly <laughs> 
because it's real close to her. So this one's pushing the books this way to hold them, and this one's leaning up against them. So I think this one's trying to knock them over, and this one's trying to hold them up. But look at them. They're a little cute. I don't know what type of clowns these are called, but these are cutie clowns. They're not scary at all. So I thought these were fun. I t she sent me a picture of them, and I'm like, yes, get them. Those are cute. Um... Now, pick up this styrofoam head because I'm going to do a project with it. So, wait to see what that might be. Who knows how long it'll be, but nevertheless, I'm going to do one. And then I got these sugar and creamers. Very cute. Poppy Pepper Tree Tabletop Sugar and Creamer. I thought those looked nice. Go trim along the edges pretty poppy flowers so very dressy very great for Easter setup with all them flowers and then I got this one this Santa Claus um, hurricane lamp um, just a just a glass lamp they painted on it so I thought this would be fun to do a, a switch out for your holidays if you have a hurricane lamp um, it's a standard size but it is a shorter shorter you know lamp I've seen them just a little bit bigger as well but this would be fun to put out for your Christmas decorations he's very nicely done painted on glass very cute so we got him and then the last things I got was two purses. Got this little handbag. Isn't that fun? The blues and greens. Very 70s, huh? And it has a, a snap piece in it. And it's from Lulu. I think it's Lulu, but that definitely brought back memories. I remember that style of purse. And then this one would be my mom's or my grandma's style of purse back in the 70s. Shoulder vinyl purse. Look at those browns. So it has a zipper on one side and a little pocket on the outside and then as well on the back another zipper and a pocket on the outside and then it's a long long shoulder purse and then it has one two three compartments zipper compartments i love that <laughs> funny because i'm I'm attracted to these kind of purses because I guess I love the 70s. I don't know. It's fun. It's different. Different from all the rest. Bringing, you know, what goes around comes back around. So, anyways, that was all for this haul. That's all I got. That was uh, our first trip to Round Top and then just a couple of items from Goodwill that I hadn't shown yet because it was only like five items. And um, we are going back. Going back and with some of our YouTube friends. So be sure to stay tuned for that and check that out. And there will be a haul after that as well. So thanks for coming, thanks for watching. And remember, you can always shop my videos. And otherwise, all this stuff will be coming to a live sale soon. Thanks, y'all. See you next time. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. If you click that and click that subscribe button and up there, there and then clip, click, click. Give a big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Bye. Bye.